Well, these are special moments uh, when we have uh, special visitors in our midst. You are very welcome to this program. Um, my name is Henry Okodua, and with me here is Dosu Joseph, the famous goalkeeper of the Super Eagles in the days of your. Dosu Joseph, you're welcome. Thank you so much. Uh, you, you, it, was, it has been a, a quite some time. Um, you, you had a very glorious career in the national team. Unfortunately, uh, an, an incident came up that uh, made things difficult uh, for you. But I can see you are still, you are still uh, you know, moving on. Uh, you have risen from the, the, the predicament and moved on like a man should. Well, let's just um, accept our feet. Uh, I've been down before. Um, I'm up now. Give God the glory for what he has done in my life. I'm alive. And uh, when you have an accident, a lot of things were said. But then, I think accidents happen in a tinkle of an eye. The important thing is, I'm alive and I'm doing very well. Now, looking at the Super Eagles as it is presently constituted, especially your department, which is the goalkeeping area, uh, are you satisfied with the way the, the, the department, the goalkeeping department in the Super Eagles is at the moment? I think uh, every goalkeeper that I've put on the green, white, green of the Super Eagles has done so well in terms of, um, let's start from Ikesho Rimu. Like when he was leaving, we were all asking who would take over from him. Vicente Yama came, did very well for almost 13, 15 years, was uh, joined as the best third best goalkeeper in the world during the um, South African World Cup. And in Africa, was I joined as the best goalkeeper in Africa before he retired of recent. Then we have um, Ikeme that came, took over from him too, before Ezinwa and uh, Uzo. I think we have good goalkeepers in this country if we have self-belief in them. If we can trust our post with them, I think they will surely make Nigerians happy and qualify for any competitions uh, we go into. We still have Dele Alan Pass who is looking for opportunity. I think in Nigeria we are blessed with goalkeepers if we have self-belief in them. Yes, uh, that is the, 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 was the issue before the World Cup. As, at, a, at a period it looked like we didn't have anyone that could take over uh, and uh, there was talk that a young man wanted to come or he would not come and the debate was raging on and on and uh, there was this loss of confidence in the goalkeeping department until so but what you have just said now uh, you say is self-belief uh, it does it mean that there was no self-belief from the coaching crew that we had we had to drag on for so long before we had an Uzo coming in you know the moment uh, Vincent Ayama retired Everybody was looking for who take over. Then from nowhere we have Ikeme. And after Ikeme left, I think everybody was saying, who hurts, who hurts? We're all afraid because um, uh, Ezenwa is um, a Nigerian goalkeeper where he kept his trade in Nigeria with um, Ifa Yumba, but presently with um, Eimba. But um, thank God we were able to fish out um, Uzo who went to the World Cup and did very well. But I still believe any of those goalkeepers he, or um, Ezenwa, Uzoa, or Akwe would have also done what Uzoa did in um, uh, Russia when we were in the World Cup proper. So I still believe we have good hands out there looking for opportunity like uh, a fellow Kai of uh, uh, Eimba. He's done so well during the CAF competition. And we have uh, uh, Alan Pasu looking for opportunity all the time. So I believe it's a comp it's, that place is meant for competition for any one of them. Whoever, whoever that is being given the nod should try as much as he can to do very well and make Nigerians happy. Yeah, um, the, the, the same goalkeeping department, you know, is very integral in any team. You will agree with me. Yes, for sure, because a little mistake in there, I think the net will surely hold it. But um, even though if you concede a goal, either bad or not, all you need to do is to have that same confidence in you and keep on going. I think uh, uh, Nigerians are still, I believe, still today, don't believe we still have good goalkeepers. But for me and those who have been in goal, who has kept for Nigeria, I believe we have good goalkeepers there if we have self-belief on them. We were not made in a day. We also have, we, we've been there, we've made mistakes, we come back, and later on they believe on us that, okay, yes, they can do it. All we need to do in life, not just in football alone, or goalkeeping department, in all things we do in life, is all about self-belief. In terms of hierarchy, who would you pick as number one? Your own choice. 
for number well, one he, in Super Eagles. If we have to pick number one in Super Eagles, I'm not in camp with those goalkeepers, so I won't say this one should be imposed or that, that one should be imposed. I think one week and their performance in their clubs will surely tell the coaches who will be in goal. Important thing is being in goal, don't consider any goal, keep on proceeding or going on in any competition we put on. That takes us to the issue of the Nigeria Seychelles. Now, once again, we are on the back foot. Uh, we lost our first game in the Nations Cup qualifiers to uh, South Africa. They beat us at uh, Uyo, mm -hmm. and uh, that was the first time they would beat us in a competitive uh, game. And now we are on the back foot. We must win against the Chels this uh, 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 Saturday. It's a must-win game, not even a draw. Once we draw, I think we are out of the Nations Cup. But, uh, we need to win the game, even though if three of our players has withdrew because of injury, we have I know how to have troops he can go out and we have who will be out. I think we see how the young ones who can come in and complement to what the experienced one have done. We still have a Gallo, we still have um, a Nazi in the D, and we still have uh, Omoro at the back in there. So I still believe we have the players that can give us the victory. Like I said, I think uh, anything less than winning will surely take us out of that competition. But I believe those boys can do it, even if those threes are not there. We still have players who can put smiles on our faces. Gennard Raw with the Super Eagles, assess his tenure so far. Well, I, I think he's done so well for himself. He's done f a little bit for us. Like he's, he still have time to go. He's gone to the Nations, I mean, World Cup. He took us to uh, uh, the World Cup, though we didn't qualify to round of 16. Now he has an opportunity to rewrite history by himself and make sure, yes, we won the Nations Cup. The last coach that won us the Nations Cup was our own coach, late Stephen Keshi. He needs to win it, then Nigerians will have self-belief in him too. But for now, I think he's trying to build a team. He's done well during the uh, Russia the World Cup, but then the Nations Cup is important for us. We lost the first game at home to South Africa. The next game is on Saturday, which we need to win to make sure, yes, we are in, com we are in the competition. But overall, I think uh, he's done too well. All right. That brings us to the, the, the recent misadventure. You were the welfare officer of the under-17. That is the golden neglect of Nigeria at the time. And, uh, and I know you are still very concerned about, uh, you know, grassroots development of sports in Nigeria. And um, that brings us to the issue of the Igles crash. Uh, we have not been able to, uh, Nigeria won the Under-17 World Cup the last time in 2015. And so far since then, Nigeria has not even qualified for the African version of the competition, not to even talk of going uh, for the World Cup. Uh, what do you think is the problem? Well, uh, grassroots football is not all about winning the championship. It's all about you producing one or two players. Mikel Obi is an example which you mentioned in 2003. I think in Finland, though we didn't qualify that to the uh, semi-final or final. Into, but then I think that team produced one or two players for Nigerian national team, where we are still enjoying Mikel Obi. I think um, the 2015 also produced the Yen Acho and Co. Where which we are still enjoying them now. So I think uh, playing against Burkina Faso yesterday or day before yesterday, and we didn't win, we lost 3-2. We will be playing against um, Côte d'Ivoire on Thursday. The important thing is which of the players can forge ahead and become a star in the U20, U23, and then the Super Eagles. That should be, the, that should be our priority. Not all the time we want to win the championship. I think in that team, one or two players will surely excel and they will surely move forward. But if they can win their game against uh, um, Côte d'Ivoire, I think that will give those boys a good morale to see if they can qualify. Okay, recently we just survived the FIFA hammer. We are, we are always, always close to being hammered by FIFA because of internal wranglings in our football. And it's not, it's always, uh, you know, uh, stakeholders are always getting worried, concerned, because once Nigeria is banned, Everyone who is into football, including myself and you, will suffer the consequences. Why do you think there's always this wrangling in Nigerian football? We cannot seem to put our ass together. What is the problem? Uh, I think the trouble has been existing for long. We've seen it during Megeri and so on and Galadiman. But um, I believe uh, Pinich has done so well. He's 
throughout his 10 or 4 years, I think he's done too well. All the teams have qualified for all the competitions. You can't even judge him with that. I think with a lot of people being uh, 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 in the in the CAF um, com committee, I think that alone goes a long way. And he, he's also been, uh, I think, an assistant to vice uh, president. Mm -hmm. to, I think Phoenix has done, has done well, but all said and done. Whoever wants to be the president of Nigerian Football Federation should first of all have the interest of the country at heart. The interest of the country in football is very, very important, not the other way around. That um, in the next few months, I think there will be an election. Whoever won it should know that, yes, the support we want is just for Nigerian football to grow. I remember the last, uh, the World Cup were in uh, 1994 under Clement Westerhoff, who had been adjoined the fifth best uh, football See, nation in the, world. in the world. I think that alone goes a long way. If we can go back to that record, I think Nigerian football will be on the map. An example is, if we don't take care of our league, the national team will surely suffer. I think our national team needs to be there. I mean, our league needs to be there too. Sponsors need to come out and the league needs to be run very, very well. If this is done, I think we will also see good players playing for the national team from the home front instead of looking forward to the professionals all the time. This is Joseph. You have been very wonderful with us in this interview. You have said everything that needs to be said. Uh, we wish you a safe uh, journey back to your destination. Uh, thank you for coming. Thank you so much. Thank you for having me. Uh, we have been talking to Dosu Joseph and uh, he has given us everything that we need to know for uh, to move Nigerian football forward. Uh, we just hope that the administrators are watching and they will pick some points from what he has just said. Thank you and goodbye.